A question I got from one of the viewers on my videos is how to accomplish a uh, master detail view through multiple pages with a link inside a grid view. You have a uh, master record. This uh, example here we have Northwind categories of products and we have a link for the category in each row and once we click on that link it goes to another page where it displays all the products in that category. So let's get to it. We're going to start by making a new website. This is in Visual Basics, and for those who uh, like using C Sharp, uh, just go to uh, Developer Fusion and just search for Convert C to uh, VB or VB to C, and uh, you should be able to get the C Sharp code that way. But I'm going to call this website Master Detail. And let's clean up the default markup that Visual Studio gives us. I'm just going to drop the Northwind database into here. Okay. Just to make things simpler, we're just going to drop a table straight from here. Just take categories, drop it onto here, and uh, Visual Web Developer will create a uh, grid view for us automatically with the correct uh, data source and it uses an SQL data source. Let's click on Edit Columns and we're going to convert the Category ID column to a template field. Click on OK and let's get into the code and this is the template field and we're looking for the item template, not the edit template. We're just going to copy over the code uh, from the text value. Notice it's in single quotes, cannot be in double quotes. We're going to get rid of this ta uh, label and we're going to drop a link button into here. Let's spin it and our link button is right here and drop a link button in that place uh, ID is going to be view products. Text is going to be view. Command name we're going to, we could do in double quotes and we'll call it view. Just in case we have um, other link buttons uh, inside this grid, we we'll want to be able to. Uh, distinguish between them so that's why we give a command name and command argument is going to be equal to what we copied over from the text text value of the of the label and that's going to be this uh, this bind category ID okay now let's create uh, a second uh, second page Let's go to our Solution Explorer and add a new page, add a new item web form, and we'll call it Category, no, we'll call it Products by ID. By ID, we're going to select the master page, and it's this one, click on OK. Let's go into the Design Mode, Toolbox, and we'll get, let's get a Grid View and drop it onto here. We're going to choose a data source. It's going to be a new data source. Database SQL. Click on OK. Northwind Connection String 1, which it automatically created when it dropped that the first table. An alphabetical list of products. We don't want to select all. Let's select just the product ID, product name, uh, quantity per unit, unit price, unit is in stock, and category name, just so we should be able to see it. The important part here is to click on where, column name, category ID, equals source, and it's going to be a query string, which is going to be the URL, and we're going to call it cat, and click on add, click on OK, next, finish. Now, let's get back to our default ASPX, and go into the VB of the default SPF. First of all, let's make sure that everything looks okay. 
Let's just run it the first time. And we're gonna say yes, we want to debug. Yes, it looks okay, but when we click on this button, nothing happens. So let's get to the code. And this is in default VB. We want to go into grid v1 row command. So what we're gonna do on row command is response dot redirect and we're gonna pass the URL as a string so we start out with double quotes and we wanna specify that this is in the root and our page name is uh, products by ID let's just copy that over and we put a question mark and cat then the equal sign and we we'll close up the double quotes and all we need now is e dot oh forgot the plus e dot command argument and we just close off the parentheses and that should do us right let's try to run this guy okay so let's pick a category produce and click on the link and here we are looking at products in the category produce let's go back uh, let's click on dairy products and we have all the products in the dairy products and so on I hope this is something uh, you guys find useful if you have any other requests uh, please send me shoot me an email on YouTube or leave it in the comments thanks so much and have a nice day